There's a hum, like electrical... So it's warm. Almost hot. There's a hum, like electrical sound. It's warm, almost hot. It's some sort of tool. It's quiet. This one's cold. It's humming. It must be very hot down there. There's a hum, like electrical circuit. It's warm, almost hot. You're disrupting traffic. Keep walking. Something stuck in the hatch. Oh, it's welded shut. I really don't think I can get this hatch open. Avoid threatening movements. Avoid unsavory company. Avoid any unauthorized congregations. Demonstrations are a tool for terrorists.
It won't budge. There's a lock. I think I need the right tool to open this. Nope, that doesn't fit the lock on this hatch. It fits into the lock, but I can't pull it open without some sort of handle. What do you want? Go away, I'm dreaming. Can you please disconnect from that thing and talk to me? I don't know you. Leave me alone. I need to get through to her somehow. It would help if I knew something about her relationship to Hannah. Yes, I do have a minute, and I am interested in learning more about the Dream Machine. Please give me your whole pitch. Leave nothing out. The new Dream Machine variety provides a safe and productive way to entertain yourself, alone or together with friends. What is official dreams offers a great selection of designer-created dreams, tailored to your every need and desire, independent of Dreamers. What's Hannah doing with all these dream machines? That doesn't look comfortable. Poor girl. Having to live like this. Someone must have left in a hurry. Are those Nella's sausages? I hope Hannah didn't eat any. Electronic parts. I don't recognize any of them. It's a picture of two girls. That's the girl I saw earlier. And the other one... Is that Hannah? It must be. She matches Nella's description. You're friends with Hannah, right? What? From the picture. It looks like you're good friends. I don't know what you're talking about. Just go away. Hannah's in trouble and I need your help finding her. 
I don't know where she is. We're not friends anymore. What happened? She wanted me to stop using the dream machine. Says it's a sickness, that I'm addicted. We were best friends, more than that. But now, I haven't seen her in ages. The last time we spoke, she was upset and scared. Why was she scared? She didn't want to tell me. She just... She said she needed to disappear for a while. She left her nest. Found somewhere else to hide. I don't know where. I think she was afraid they'd get rid of her after she finished the job. Who are they? I don't know, all right? I told you already. I haven't spoken to her since. And you have no idea where I can find her? Maybe she mentioned something to you. Somewhere she could be hiding. No, I... There was another nest at the end of the bricks. She brought me there once. She called it her secret burrow. No one goes there. It uses a different key from all the other shelters. When she wasn't looking, I... I grabbed an extra key that was lying around in case he ever needed to hide. Maybe that's where Hannah is. But I honestly don't know. Please leave me alone. Where's the key? I don't fucking know! It's around here somewhere. I, I don't know. Can I go back to my dream now? The dream machines, they're... dangerous. I think they're dangerous. You shouldn't be hooking up. What else is there to do in this rat hole? Study for my law degree? Just fuck off back to your cushy upstairs life. And leave me alone. You know, you don't have to stop here. I don't have anything to... I knew you wouldn't buy anything. Nope, that doesn't fit the lock on this hatch. Easy, easy. Just, just put that knife down. Who are you? What do you want? The best thing to do right now is to stay calm and tell her my name. I should let her know why I'm here. I mean, she has no idea who I am. Queenie sent me. Queenie? Why? She's worried about you. Tell her not to worry. Tell her I'm just peachy. Now get out. I can't just tell Queenie you're peachy. She'll ask questions. She wants to know if... I'm fine. Really. Abby said Hannah's scared, that she's on the run. I don't think she's fine at all. I don't believe her. There must be another way to get through to Hannah. Ab if you're fine, why are you running? Who said I'm running? Abby did. She told me... Abby? So that's how you found me. She blabbed that... That duper! She's always been weak. I didn't give her much choice. I had to find you. She won't tell anyone. She's always trouble. And she's addicted to the dream machine. She really misses you. She's not my responsibility. We're not... 
I'm not her girlfriend, not... I'm not good for her. She's not safe around me. She'll get hurt. Why? Who's after you? All these questions. Who are you again? Zoe Castillo. Right, and how is any of this your business, Zoe Castillo? Who do you work for? No one. Seriously, enough with the paranoia. Queenie wanted me to find you. She's concerned. That's the only reason I'm here. You could show some appreciation for the people in your life who do care. In my experience, they usually want something in return. You might be surprised. Don't underestimate people. Don't overestimate people. <sighs> Look, I... I did... stuff. A job. A dangerous job for some very dangerous people, and now I have to watch my back. Then let us help you. You can't help me. Queenie can't help me. No one can. If they find me... You really don't know who you're dealing with, and there's no way to stop them, all right? So just leave me be. Maybe she's running from the Eye. They must know about Hannah's gang, and they can't... Could she be running from Mr. London? He controls the criminal underworld in Propast. I've run into Mr. London myself. I know how scary he can... Mr. London? Right, sure. Scary. The people I'm hiding from are a lot worse than London. I'm done talking. Go back to Queenie. Tell her to not worry about me. I don't think that'll be enough to make her stop worrying. <sighs> Fine. One second. Give her this. Tell her I got your message, that you did your job and that. Tell her that I'm working on it. Those paintings in your room, did you paint them yourself? You were in my nest. I, I was looking for you. That doesn't give you the right to break into my home, Suka. Those are my drawings. Why? I recognize the images from dreams. Look, I know this sounds crazy and I can't explain it, They're but... from dreams. My dreams. And no, I don't use a dream machine. I just have weird dreams. Why would we have the same dreams? How do I know you're not lying? I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Just go away. I just... <sighs> yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. Is it true? About your dreams? I... I only remember the one dream. But there have been many others. I... have amnesia. But my memories are, are starting to come back. And your drawings... I've seen those images before. It can't be a coincidence. No coincidence, no story. Zoe, right? Zoe Castillo. I'll think about what you said, Zoe Castillo. If I think you're telling the truth, I'll look you up. Now I really need you to leave. I have things I need to do, and you shouldn't be seen down here with me. Madame is in. She's been expecting you. At long last, the castle dweller returns. I'm really sorry I took so long. Tut, tut, this is delicate work. Stand perfectly still. Fly, little one. You look tired, Miss Castillo. Is everything all right? I haven't slept so well. No. And have you found what you were looking for? You mean, have I found purpose in my life yet? I guess I'm still looking for some sort of deeper meaning. Don't expect it to strike you like a lightning bolt from a clear sky. Purpose and meaning are rarely revelations, but rather slow awakenings. And meaning is what you make of it. 
I find great joy and purpose in building my little creatures. So, any news about our hammer? I assume that's why you're here today. She asked me to give you this. She says she's fine and that she's... she's working on it? How did she appear to you? Do you believe her when she says she's fine? There's no reason to worry, Queenie. I'm not sure that will help Hannah. Or convince Queenie to give the campaign her full support. I don't want to worry, Queenie, but Hannah did not sound fine. Maybe it'll hurt the campaign, but I don't think I should keep this from her. Honestly, I don't think she's fine. She's scared. Her friend Abby told me she's been hiding. She's afraid of something. Someone. She didn't say who? Abby didn't know. And Hannah wasn't very forthcoming. She doesn't trust many people. She barely trusts me, and I have... Well, I hope I've given her enough reasons to trust me. But she's had a hard life, poor girl. I appreciate your honesty, Zoe. Thank you for tracking her down. Where is she now? I can probably trust Queenie, but I don't want to betray Hannah's trust. It can't hurt letting Queenie know where to find Hannah. Maybe she can help. I can... I made a promise to Hannah. I understand. I won't press the issue, even though I might be in a position to help her. You have gone above and beyond your duty, Zoe. You have shown that you care about our community. And while I'm still worried about Hannah, at least now I know she's alive. Very well. You asked for my support, and you have it. I will endorse your candidate. The bricks stand behind Unity and Leah Uminska. Maybe Unity is involved in something illegal. But if I tell Queenie that, she'll probably withdraw her support, and that will damage our chances in Propast. Maybe Unity and Uminska are innocent, but I can't keep the truth from Queenie, regardless of how it affects our campaign. I wish I could just accept your support, but I can't. Not now. Oh? And why is that? Leia Uminska might be involved in something illegal, or at least unethical. We don't know for sure yet. That is unfortunate. Even the possibility that Unity might be mixed up in something objectionable makes it impossible for me to lend my support to the campaign. I'm sorry, Ms. Castillo, but there is too much at stake. I do hope your investigations uncover no funny business, but I'm afraid this means I cannot support the Social Democrats. I hope you understand my position. I do, and I'm really sorry. So am I. If you ever need my help with anything else, I'm here. I owe you that. I'm afraid there's work to do, so I'll have to ask you to leave. Good day, Miss Castillo. Oh, before you go... Yes? You mentioned you weren't sleeping well. Do you dream? Constantly. Yes. Pay heed to your dreams, Miss Castillo. Do not underestimate them. I remember the first time you visited. I told you you weren't quite here. And you're not. Part of you is lost in dreaming. And part of you... Part of you is a dream. You're not all here. That worries me. I think, more than anything, you need to remember. And you need to wake up. W what do you mean by... I don't know. Like I said, there is work to be done. But remember, I'm here if you need me. Crowds are unsafe. Avoid crowds.
How did it go? I got the data. So you're not completely useless after all. That's a surprise. Come over here. I'll download and decrypt it. One sec. Basic encryption, standard syndicate protocols. Let's take a look. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Financial transactions, Petal. Big ones. From various shadow accounts into the party's campaign. Well, fuck me. What do we have here? Unity's taking bribes. Well, yes, obviously. These are just standard corporate shadow accounts. Won't be too hard to trace the transactions. No, I'm talking about the rest of it. There are detailed records of meetings between Ominskar and Konstantin Wolf, arranged and attended by Watikorp officials. What? Jesus Christ. The mother chords have kept files on everything, like it's just business as usual. What a bunch of gandas. And look at this. You know there's been talk about regulating the dream machine? Uh, yeah. Uh, Uminska's been an outspoken proponent for regulation, and According she... to this, if Unity wins, Uminska's going to give Wati a card blank to sell dream machines and operate dream emporiums in Europolis. Wati Corp will be able to provide government-licensed Dreamtime access to everyone, everywhere, all the time, unrestricted. So Uminsk is not the messiah this city was hoping for after all. There goes my vote. To shit. So, wh what are you saying, exactly? I'm saying the bribes and kickbacks are only part of the story battle. I'm saying Ominskar is collaborating with both Konstantin Wolf and Watiko. And fuck knows who else. Whether it's for money or power or some other reason, who knows? They can't both win the election. In other words, it's bad. Badder than bad, Petal. This could be the biggest, baddest thing since the last time Watikorp was in the news for trying to fuck us over. I still don't understand what Uminska stands to gain from collaborating with Wolf and European Dawn. I'm sure the answer's in there. Somewhere. There's terabytes of this shit. We've only scratched the surface. But this is not my problem, it's yours. Take it. Well, shit. What should I do? Your data, your problem. I can't tell you what to do with it, but I can tell you what I would do. This belongs to the world. Keeping it secret benefits no one. If I were you, I'd publish it anonymously. Luckily for both of us, you're not me. Whatever you decide, Petal, you'll want to tread carefully. Heads will roll. Make sure one of them isn't yours. Also, don't bring the eye to my doorstep. I'll deny everything and throw you to the wolves. No offense, good dear. None taken. I've uploaded the decrypted data to your iris. It's locked to your voice print. Go do whatever it is that you're going to do. And leave me out of it.